Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Worship you. Glorify you. Bless your holy name. Eternal Rock of Ages. Eternal Rock of Ages. I am that I am. God of signs and wonders. Immortal God. Bless your holy name. There is none like you, Father. Likatane vandele pandaya sotia ho. Mantale boso katele bosia. E pandele kataya bos. Mandare boso katele bosia. I just want to start this particular message with a very strong, um, uh, very strong prayer in the spirit because this has to do with a very sensitive uh, topic, which is witchcraft and um. Likatu sataya bo se katala bo siya mante le bo se kata liko do le bo sotia ha manta le bo siya reko tane mbase taya Father Lord Jesus Christ, I cover this message with the blood of Jesus as you have directed me to do this today. Anybody with any unclean spirit, anyone carrying any spirit of witchcraft that they want to come and use here. To attack me or anybody on this page. Father, let your fire locate them. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost locate them. And destroy their witchcraft powers and marine spirit powers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, you will pass your judgment upon anyone who will come to this message with any unclean spirit today. In Jesus mighty name I pray. Father Lord, as we do this today, hide me behind your cross. Hide me. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus Christ. So, um, this is a very sensitive uh, uh, message. And I pray that it meets you in good spirit and good health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, these are ten signs. Many people have spoken to me about these things. Try asking me if they have been initiated into witchcraft. I know by the grace of God, I'm a worship and prayer a, 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 a minister. But I have not really talked about this in depth in the past. So I encourage you to share and invite somebody so that they will be, so they will be aware. They will know if they have been experiencing this particular uh, thing in their dreams. So they can begin to engage in warfare prayers and deliverance prayers. Or find a Bible believing a, a, a church where they can get deliverance from this uh, spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Please share as you come here. I just want to do like two or three shares and I will just get, go straight to it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God, thank you for today. I honor you. Take glory. I don't know why I am shaking so badly already, but I know that. There's going to be some forces that will resist this message today. I know that some forces will resist this message. I already know it. I didn't just come in here. I prayed heavily. I am actually fasting today. I have been in fasting today. All day today. In preparation for this particular message. So I already know that the enemy is going to... Um, because one thing you must know, what, whatever you are planning to do, Satan knows. Satan knows. I had the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit had to minister to me before I do this particular message to be in fasting. To, be, to actually be in fasting while I'm doing this message today. Ten signs that you have been initiated into witchcraft. Because there's going to be some forces that want to resist this message. And they might come after me says the Lord God of hosts. So the Spirit of God directed me right now. I have been in fasting today. I'm going to break at 6 p.m. in my time. So you love me, you pray for me as well as we do this message. God bless you. As you listen to this message, Lord, anyone that will come across this video, I pray that it bring deliverance into their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So these are 10 signs. 10 signs that you have been initiated into witchcraft pay attention pay attention somebody pay attention number one listen and this just does not happen one time this is repeatedly you repeatedly having this type of dreams all the time 
you have been initiated into witchcraft not because they want you to be part of them get this very well major majority even witches who have confessed they will tell you that hi, hi favor thank you sweetie even witches who have confessed or who have undergone deliverance are, and are now evangelists they will tell you that majority of 94 percent of people that they initiate it is not because they want them to be part of them it is because they initiate them so that they can begin to attack them they can begin to do things to them they have to first initiate your spirit it is that your spirit where you are laying on your bed physically here your spirit is what they have initiated into their coven and it is your spirit that they are now attacking and whatever they're doing in the spirit it is now manifesting in the physical you get me number one you see yourself repeatedly all the time in dreams you are flying all the time you just find yourself flying. You have no where you're flying to. You have been initiated into witchcraft. Number two, you find yourself, you flying, you enter into this unknown gathering. You have found yourself flying around and then you fly into this gathering of people. Most of them, you don't even know who they are. You might know one or two persons in that gathering. Majority of them, you don't know who they are. Now, be, be aware, this is not a one-time thing. This is repeated, like, every week, so many times a week. For a long time, it can go for years until you receive deliverance from it. It will not stop. You have been initiated into witchcraft. I mentioned number one, you always find yourself flying in the dream. You just fly you in up in the air flying around where are you going to they have initiated your spirit they send your spirit on errands <laughs> number two you always find yourself flying into some unknown um a, a, a meeting meeting your spirit has been called and initiated into their world number three you always find yourself drinking blood in your dream you always drinking blood in your dreams you just see somebody give you a cup full of blood and you're drinking it you're drinking it those are not good dreams those are witchcraft dreams your spirit has been initiated into the witchcraft world and mind you mind you i'm not saying this to condemn you i'm not saying this for you to feel bad because i will tell you now a lot of the things that i listed here i was a victim of it okay until i was i received deliverance from it so now you are always drinking blood you find yourself in a dream world you always just drinking raw red blood they will just probably you even find them like you will see some they will slice a human being and pour the blood and give you to drink now why in this dream you can't even control yourself you don't you can't even control what you're doing in the dream they have taken control of your spirit they're feeding you blood in the dream you have been initiated into witchcraft number four not only blood you have they always give you this fluid this dirty looking fluid full of all kind of parts insects um um, um human parts uh, animal parts they just give you you drinking it drinking it and it's not a one-time dream you always having these dreams repeatedly it can go for years unless you receive deliverance from it now you have been initiated doesn't mean that you are one of them get me right here it doesn't mean that you are you are a passive participant let me use that word it is against your will they initiate your spirit they're giving you all those things to drink to weaken your spirit so that they can start putting like attacking you those things you are drinking in the physical you start to experience all kind of sicknesses all kind of uh, spiritual attacks but first they have to first initiate your spirit so that they can do that so number four you're drinking all kind of substances with all kind of parts body parts human parts animal parts uh, in it your spirit has been initiated 
into witchcraft. Number five, in this gathering, all the time in these dreams, you are in the midst of people, but these people, you, their face look um, scary. Like, you see some hollow face. You'll be looking at somebody, but the face is like dark, hollow, scary. You are in a meeting with these fresh people. These people that you're seeing around you, these are the real witches. They have summoned your spirit into their midst. So they're covering their faces so that most of in case you know them in real life, so that when you wake up, you won't know who they are. You have been initiated into witchcraft. Number six, in these gatherings all the time, you are there, they are doing things to you. They are attacking you in these dreams. You are in the gathering of people, but these people, they are not your friend. They are attacking you. Some of them, they are having knives at you. They are having spears at you. They are punching your body. They are, you know, they are beating you up. They are doing things to you. In the spirit world so that when you wake up before you know it give it a few weeks a few months you start experiencing those things in real life you have been initiated into witchcraft number seven they are telling you to surrender your things now you are in this gathering of people these people they are taking things from you they take your car key they take your house key they take your money they ask you to surrender your child Surrender your marriage. You know, they, they, they ask you so, and you are just giving it to them. Like, like Mugu, Mugu. Because they have initiated your spirit and tied your spirit. They have made your spirit powerless. So they are now taking your, your, your money. They are taking your health. They are taking your children. In real life, before you know it, all those things they took from you. You might begin to see them manifest in real life. Your marriage might go bad. Your children start to misbehave. Your health start to go down. Your finances start to go down. You have been initiated into witchcraft. Number eight. Now, in this gathering, they are accusing you. They are telling you, we told you to join us. You don't want to join us. You're going to suffer. You understand? They are, they are, they are all, they are, they are uh, trying to bribe you, trying to give you things, trying to entice you, right word. They're trying to entice you to, to freely surrender your spirit to them. That is if you are the prayerful type. You are still, you are still being prayerful in the real world, in the physical world. And your, your, your prayer is still kind of uh, uh, preventing them from fully taking over you. So in, this, in these dreams, you, can, you might see them like, like offering, offering you things. Trying to appease you, to release your spirit, to stop praying, to start off, so that they can totally take charge of you. You have been initiated into witchcraft. Number nine. You are in these meetings all the time. It's not a one-time meeting. So be, be, be aware of that. You are having these dreams regularly all the time. I had some, not all of them. I had the drinking blood, drinking blood dreams. I had that for months, for months. And uh, eventually what began to happen to me, I, I, I suddenly saw I could hardly pray. We'll get to that. Anyway, so you are in these dreams, you are surrounded by some strange demonic looking animals. These animals, some part might be human beings, some part might be animal, but there's some, some, some strange looking creatures surrounding you. And, 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 and these creatures are, they are threatening. They can be biting you. They can be, and it's not a one time thing. This is repeatedly for months or even years you have been initiated into witchcraft. Number 10, you are sometimes, maybe because of your prayer or your mother or father, or you go to a church that prays very well, and that prayer is still, is still trying to protect you, but you always find yourself in the dream in these meetings and 
and and but each time you try to escape you might start trying to run away but they will catch you they will chase after you and catch you again and bring you back they will bring you back sometimes they will they, they will sit on. there are many other dreams but these are just i don't if i go on this long i will be here for one hour and i don't want to do that on this particular message you try to escape all the time in these meetings but they keep chasing you and they will catch you and bring you back you have been initiated into witchcraft now you may not experience all of these that i have mentioned you may experience some of it but the key word is you are always seeing these dreams all the time and you notice when you started when you started having these particular dreams you started falling sick your spiritual life if you used to be a prayer warrior you can't pray no more you can't even your dream life become all messed up um, um if you used to see visions it gets all blurry if god used to speak to you clearly you might find out that you, you can hardly do it no more it is because your spirit was called and initiated into another world where they have been able to cage, cage you spiritually not because they want you to be part of them but because they want to attack you and 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 take your virtues and take your spiritual gifts and make you sick and you know just put all kind of bad things in you um when i was experiencing this sometime last year early last year i knew when it started i knew somebody who prayed for me once they prayed for me i began to experience this particular thing online and um and then the holy spirit after time i, I remember then that actually i could hardly pray after this person prayed for me online i began to experience this particular one that i kept drinking i was just drinking blood all the time in my dream and i re and i remember that my prayer life began to go down my gift of dreams actually went down my gift of visions revelation many gifts that god gave to me became under attack because they wanted to take those from me and i remember i began to have a lot of stomach problems and those are the kind of things that they will do to you they will first for them to first attack you they first have to initiate your spirits so it's not because you are one of them so don't feel terrible don't feel ashamed so if you are here or if you ever come across this video and you are experiencing this one or some of these things message me and by the grace of god we will pray on it and that spirit will leave you in the mighty name of jesus christ so in my case the lord almighty used another man of god uh, uh, um, another man of god to pray for me and then when he was praying for me because i did not understand at that time when he was praying for me he began to ask me all this question that while he was praying for me he saw me drinking blood all the time what, what kind of blood so i started telling him, oh my god look at the dreams i was having repeatedly 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 he was not the one that told me that that was how they and they, that was the way they, they they initiated your spirit so that's why you are experiencing all these things that you are experiencing and by the grace of god after that particular prayer from that man of god that god used to pray for me he's also a pastor uh, in a, one of the branches of um uh, of o omega fire ministry god used him to pray for me and since then till now that dream stopped and i began to experience that I became stronger again the spirit and many other things that it took from me came back so um i pray that this message makes you in good health and in the mighty name of jesus christ if you ever have experienced these things you come across this message don't be ashamed don't be afraid don't be embarrassed you are not a witch it does not mean you are a witch they just had to first take your spirit 
initiate your spirit so that they can cage your spirit so they'll be able to start doing um, horrible things to you your marriage your children your finances your health that is how they do it may the lord almighty bless you in the mighty name of jesus christ happy new week i will see you next time as the spirit of god directs god bless you